Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. By the view title, you know what this video is about. We got week 12, of course, game picks. I'm doing it a little early. I usually wait to like Tuesday to do it, but I'm recording everything because it's a short week this week. Um, because the Steelers got to play on Thursday and I do this for the Steelers channel. And for this channel right here, I kind of balance both channels out. So I'm trying to do everything a little early. So if you see some of the records that might not be different, that means because they haven't played yet probably. Um, but the first game of the week, um, you got the Steelers, of course, versus the Browns. Thursday night football game. Um, the Steelers should win this one. I'm not going to sit around and try to like even have it. I think the game will probably be close early on because you know the Steelers coming off a you know, short week right now. I think it might be a little early on close. Still, the score might, at halftime might be like Steelers up 13 to six like that. Kind of around that range is a one score game. But I think the Steelers will pull away and the Steelers will win the game 27-13 and defeat the Browns and improve to nine and two. Um, then next, you got the Chiefs, of course, and the Panthers. The Chiefs should win this game. The Chiefs lost the first loss against the Bills. Like I mentioned on the last game picks, I picked the Bills to win. I said I thought the Chiefs been playing around with their food a little too much. They've been keeping teams in it a little bit. And they've been kind of barely getting away and getting away with some stuff. Against a team like the Bills, it can be very difficult to get away with a team like that with all that stuff and the mistakes you make on offense. And the Bills handled business and got it done versus the Chiefs. Chiefs got their first loss, of course. No more undefeated teams. And now um, the Chiefs playing against the Panthers. They should win that one, of course. But the Chiefs, that one loss against the Bills, is going to sting a little bit. The Bills always can find a way to beat the Chiefs in the regular season. It's the playoffs. They can never beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. Josh Allen still um, got zero wins versus Mahomes in the playoffs. You got the um, Patriots versus the Dolphins. The Dolphins have won back-to-back -back games. The Dolphins, like I mentioned many times, they could be sitting here um, with three extra wins. So they could be sitting here easily 7-4, and four, at least around 7-4, and because they had um, that Colts game they lost by three points. They had that Cardinals game they lost by one point. I mention this every week. Then they have, of course, that Bills game lost by three points. You, you you at least win. Two, maybe you win the, the Cardinals one. You win the you win the Colts one. You be sitting at least with a better record right now. They still they still got a chance. They four and six. I think they beat the um, Patriots and go five and six and kind of get in the groove and kind of like say, oh, they battling for that that seventh spot, that sixth spot, maybe the sixth spot might, and the fifth spot probably locked up most likely with the Chargers, of course. But the other spots might be open. You never know. They battling for those spots, so we'll see. Um, you got the Texans, of course, the Titans. Texans should win that one, of course. You got the um, the Texans play tomorrow versus the Cowboys. Um, the game, um, it's on Monday night football. I'm making a video on Sunday night, so it haven't came around yet. So we'll see what happens with that result of that game. You got the Detroit Lions, of course, versus the Colts. I think Detroit Lions win that one. They've been on the roll. Put up 52 points versus the Jaguars. Put up 40 point games and 50 point games. They destroyed the Titans. They've been destroying the whole AFC South, and they come to destroy the Colts. Um, we're gonna see what happens in this game, but I think the um the Lions win out. I think the game be kind of a little close, not too close, but I think the um, Lions take control and win it. Um, the Cowboys versus Commanders. I think Commanders win that one. Commanders just got more talent on the roster. Cowboys are still a team kind of shaky, kind of fading off a little bit. They came into the season without the right depth. Um, and just think this, this they just didn't go out there and do unnecessary. And Jared Jones, he said he was all in, but he was not all in. I'm like. You never went out there and added anybody to help the O-line out. The O-line had a lot of young guys playing on it. The running back room was weak. The receiver core, you only got CeeDee Lamb. Brandon Cooks, they haven't done anything too much. Tolbert, Jalen Tolbert here and there, he plays all right. Um, the tight ends and stuff, they're all right and stuff. But the defense, the D-line, um, they have enough depth. Linebacker room, um, cornerbacks as well. Um, you have Darren Bland and Trevon Diggs. I think um, Darren Bland is still injured, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of things that kind of were going on and stuff around the Cowboys, they never really went out there and added the right depth pieces, and it kind of hurt them. Jerry Jones kind of being cheap, not wanting to go out there and do things. Waited too long to pay Dak Prescott. You, re you really should probably should have never paid Dak Prescott. I thought Dak Prescott would probably be gone after this season. I thought this would be his last year. They paid him the big-time money, and now they kind of stuck a little bit with it. They got to see what happens. Um, they, they could probably trade him because there's a lot of teams that probably trade for Dak Prescott. He's a good player still. But I think the Cowboys need to start over, though. I know he's, he's a good player, but he got to start over. It's, sometimes you just need to change the scenery. You know, send him to the Saints or send him somewhere else. Start over with something fresh. You know, fire. Well, get rid of the coach, um, Mike McCarthy. Start over, get a different coach. And Jerry Jones, if you want to win a championship, you're going to have to take a step aside and resign as GM. Like that. You need to, you need to um, switch some things up. But I doubt they do any of that. Um, Buccaneers. And Giants, I think the Buccaneers win that one. You got the Minnesota Vikings and the Bears. The, the Bears lost a close one. A close, close one to block field goal. Hmm. Versus the Bears. I mean, versus the Vikings. Versus the Vikings. Mm, I'm going to pick the Vikings to win this one. I think the Vikings stay on a roll. Um, you got Broncos and you got the Raiders. 
I think the Broncos win now. And of course, Cardinals and Seahawks. The Seahawks got a big time win. You know, Smith in the last seconds with a big time run for the game winner versus the 49ers. Uh, they're sitting at five and five versus the Cardinals. I'm gonna take the Cardinals to win that one. The way Kyler Murray been playing, he's been very, playing very good. The game should be very close though. Um, 49ers and Packers. I think the 49ers should win this one. Got to bounce back after that tough loss versus the Seahawks. You got Eagles and Rams. I'm gonna pick the Eagles to win this one. Uh, the Rams are uh, they got a nice roster. They've been up and down. They're very inconsistent because the injuries that keep happening. But I think the um, Eagles handle business and get it done. Then you got the Ravens versus the Chargers. That should be a good one. A very good one. Hmm. I hope the Chargers win, actually, not the Ravens down a little bit more. But in my, in my opinion, I think the Ravens probably get the job done versus the Chargers. Um, Lamar Jackson kind of bounced back. He does a very good job after having a tough loss, bouncing back with a monster game or the tough loss against the Browns. He lost by a little bit, and he, he followed it up, destroying the AFC West team 40 points. Um, with the 40-10 versus the Broncos. And he had a tough loss now against another division opponent in the Steelers. I think they bounced back. I don't, know, I don't know about destroying the Chargers, but I think they beat the Chargers in a close one. So, um, yeah. And the Bills, the Bengals, and Jaguars, Saints, and Jets are on the bye week. And those are teams on the bye. And the playoff picture right now, you got the Steelers second seed. Well, the Steelers win this week. They'll be second seed because the division wins. And the Bills third. It'll be the Texans fourth. Um, Ravens fifth. Chargers sixth. Um, you got the Broncos seventh. Then you got, of course, the Packers at um, seven. Washington at six. Vikings at five. Falcons at four. Cardinals at three. Then you have the Eagles at two, then Lions at one. That's if my predictions are right for this week. Like that. So we'll see exactly what happens. But that's all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.